Alright, so as if the two existing projects that we already have on the go isn't enough, we've decided we're gonna add a third one in the way of a brand new toy hauler. However, it isn't brand new, it's actually someone else's project. We're just here to finish it off. So the main priority for now is to get this thing to a stage where we can register it. So I've got Stu over at the moment, he's helping out. We're gonna redo all the wiring underneath, get all the electric brakes wired up and stuff like that, which hasn't been done before. Once we've done that, we can apply for a VIN number. Uh, we'll get our clearance lights on the side, breakaway, all the stuff required to register this trailer because of its size and weight. There's a couple of extra things we've got to do that we didn't do on the last trailer. So we'll get all that sorted, register it. We can start using it to tow the buggy and take it out when we go out on the weekends. And from there, we'll start pulling stuff apart, chipping away, and turning this thing into the ultimate touring trailer for carrying all our toys. So I'll do a bit of a rundown of all the stuff that's got to be done. Starting at the front, DO35 hitch. We've put the uh, hitch off the old trailer on there already. And we are going to get a new one as well, so that'll go back onto the old trailer. Next up, XO750 arc jockey wheel. We had the XO500 on the other trailer. Flawless, awesome, adjustable height, can't fault it. So we're going to go another one of those, just the, the next size up. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but obviously they've just shoved this in to get it going. Um, so one of the things we're going to have to try and do is wire up the brakes because they are not connected at all. Uh, there are bits and pieces missing, but we can fix all that. Also, we'll have to run this through a channel to make sure that it's not going to get snagged on any rocks or sticks or anything like that. Um, but apart from that, it's looking good. So the jockey wheel on this thing, when we picked it up, basically does not function. Uh, it's actually never been fitted with washer, so it's torn a little bit of the steel that's gonna have to be repaired, as well as the jockey wheel itself is, is bent as well, so it's good for the bin and that's about it. So we've gone out and we bought one of the Arc XOs. As far as I'm concerned, it is the best jockey wheel on the market. As I mentioned, we did have one, the 500 on the smaller quad bike trailer, so it's only logical that we chuck this bad boy on here. Okay, so just finish uh, quickly chucking this on just so we can get the patrol out of the way. And it's just gonna make it a little bit easier to maneuver the, uh, the toy hauler while it's in the shed. Uh, but quickly while I've got it, I just wanted to demonstrate how effective uh, this thing is to use and how, sorry, why I reckon that it is the best jockey wheel because to my knowledge, there's nothing else like it on the market uh, that I have ever seen, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, to my knowledge, this is it. Uh, so one of the first things is I can pull the side out and actually slide that in and keep moving that down lower and lower as opposed to having to wind it out all the way and having the jockey wheel like at its full extension. It just means that it's stronger when it has um, this larger casing around it, I guess. The next thing is, so this handle to actually pivot the jockey wheel does get out of the way. Uh, so if I pull it out fold it up and then I can fold it flat so it's completely out of the way so it's not going to be sitting there catching debris, getting ploughed by rocks, branches, tree stumps, bloody who knows. Uh, yeah, so move it down there. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is there is no handle on here at the moment. This handle is actually magnetic so if I fold that out of the way, put that on there, turn the wrong way to start off with but and because I've adjusted it on the side, I don't actually have to wind it as far to get it all the way down. Easy as that. One last thing uh, that I can think of on the top of my head is there's this pin here. So this pin actually used to be spring-loaded on the last one and it did break off. Something that I forgot to mention earlier, but I see now that they have fixed that and replaced it with this solid welded pin. And so what that does is you have here, you've got one, two, three, four, five holes in there and whichever hole you stick this pin through as you wind it back tight when it's, when it's swung up, that's the position that's going to lock the jockey wheel in so there's no more jockey wheel swinging about, bouncing around when you're off-road or even on the highway for that matter. Hey! How's that? Custom 101.
Alright, so we already moved the other side off of this, and I reckon, what do you reckon, 50 kilos? 60 kilos? Yeah. yeah, so it's just all steel. Um, so by the time we move the rest of this contraption, um, we should have probably dropped 200 kilos, <laughs> if not more. Okay, so we've got the doors off, so the next step is to cut the rest of this box off. So the plan is we'll start with the sheet and remove that uh, panel at a time, and then we'll cut the rest of this frame off. We did think about taking the whole thing off and removing it as one, but then it's still going to cut it off once it's off, and it's also going to weigh a ton, so it's going to be pretty hard to move. So we'll get stuck into that. Thank <laughs> you. 